हाई एवरी वन मई सेल्फ कुलदीप साहू अ सेकेंड इयर एम बी बी सी स्टूडेंट एट पंडित जवाहरलाल नेहरू मेमोरी मेडिकल कॉलेज रायपुर एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ सीरीज ऑफ मास्टरिंग एन एटमी अ कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव गाइड दीज मास्टरिंग एन एटमी सेशन विल बी अ कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव गाइड टू बी स्कोरिंग हायर विजुअलाइज बेटर लर्न फास्टर रिटेन ग्रेटर एंड कनेक्ट द बेसिक्स विद द क्लिनिकल्स इन दिस सीरीज देर आर फाइव डिफरेंट वीडियोज एंड Each video is contain different topics where I'll be talking about books to read in general anatomy, systemic anatomy, histology, and embryology in the first video. Then in the second video, I'll be talking about the free and paid best online resources to be used in anatomy. Then in the third video, I've talked about how to perfectly draw a diagram in your exam to get maximum marks. Then in the fourth video, I have talked about how to study anatomy effectively and retain for a longer time. then at the last in the fifth video i have talked about answer writing guide where i'll be talking about how to write answer in your university exam so in this video we are going to discuss about the first topic of the session the books to be read in human anatomy of mbbs first year so let's start the video first of all anatomy is classified into various categories such as general anatomy systemic anatomy histology and embryology coming to the general anatomy portion this is the building block of a medical student this book of general anatomy is must to be read to a medical student because it meets the requirement of a students who are newly admitted to the medical college and it thoroughly introduces the greater part of medical terminology as well as various structures which constitute the human body so what all books you can read in general anatomy firstly the handbook of general anatomy which is written by late dr b d chaurasia sir or you can use the textbook of general anatomy which is written by vishram singh sir both books are good for general anatomy you can use as per your convenience now coming to the systemic anatomy it is the study of human body structures in different segments or a region and it grossly includes upper limb lower limb abdomen and pelvis head and neck and neuro anatomy this is the part of anatomy which requires most of the time energy and effort to understand the structure and function of anatomical basis of a body it requires both theoretical and a practical aspects or a cadaveric aspect to learn and though you have limited time to dissect the cadaver when you are studying at home or your room or in a library you don't have cadaver right so here are the books and resources to be used to master the systemic anatomy for 3d visualization of cross section of anatomical structures either you can go with the atlas of anatomy or you can use the 3d animation websites or applications right During my first year of MBBS I used Netter's Atlas because I found that all the diagrams in Netter given were like a real cadaver and it was so neat and clean labeled that, that it made my visual memory so stronger than before same way if you don't want to carry the weight of the atlas you can actually use the 3d animation websites or the applications well this is the topic for the next part of this master anatomy series so wait for the next video and don't forget to subscribe this channel and turn on the notification so that you can get the next video now coming to the books for systemic anatomy again you have two choices either use bd chaurasia or vishram singh or you can use both for upper limb lower limb and abdomen and pelvis you can use the bd chaurasia's anatomy and you, you can read it well for head and neck and neuro anatomy you can go with the vishram singh's anatomy and this will be my personal recommendation because i have actually followed the same and yes it is a good book other than this there are few important points that i want to put here Firstly the diagrams given in Vishram Singh's are better because these diagrams are hand free and can be easily uh, drawn in exam right but the diagrams given in BDCs are not exam friendly and it is not possible to draw BDCs diagram but it can be understood well so keep in mind secondly clinical cases given in Vishram Singh's are little bit better than the uh, BD Chaurasia's anatomy textbooks so i am giving you a basic idea and a parameter how you can judge a book to be used so choose your book wisely Now coming to the histology it is a branch of anatomy where you study about the microscopic structures of the anatomy this histology becomes the basis of your pathological findings that you actually study in second year of so in first year we all take histology very very lightly but it has a great importance in second year mbbs so the only book that you can trust in histology is that i recommend is the inderbir singh's textbook of histology i have used this book in my first year during my university exams and it was very very helpful in making points regarding the slides and identifying them actually during university exams you will be given two slides you have to identify each of them you have to write three points for each slides how you identified that and you have to draw a well labeled diagram of histology so these all things are given very 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 descriptively in the inderbir singh's histology book so you can use that now this is the last segment of this video 
लेट्स कम टू दी एम्ब्रियोलॉजी एम्ब्रियोलॉजी इज द स्टडी ऑफ डेवलपमेंट ऑफ एम्ब्रियो फ्रॉम दी ओवर फर्टिलाइजेशन टू दी फिटर्स एंड एडिशनली एज अ मेडिकल स्टूडेंट यू हैव टू स्टडी अबाउट द एनिमलीज फाउंड इन द एम्ब्रियो सो अ बुक विच हैज अ गुड कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ क्लिनिकल एंड अथोरिटिकल कंटेक्सट इज इन द बेरसिंग्स बुक फॉर एम्ब्रियोलॉजी इट इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट बुक फॉर एम्ब्रियोलॉजी I want to know what all books you are using in your first year of your MBBS and uh, do comment down what all books you are preferring and let me know what is your preference. So here I am ending the part one of Master Anatomy series. In the next video, I will be coming up with a new topic and the topics are given in the description box. Till then, keep learning, keep watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notifications so that you can get the videos at the first. Bye bye.